Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine by the grace of Allah today I am here from Lavi and Jaffi Strake and today I am here for class 5 English version students so dear students today our subject is elementary science and today we will be going through chapter 3 water for life so students let's start this video so students we are now in chapter 3 water for life so at first we will be able to know why plants and animals require water what are the contributions of water and how do us plants use water for their growth and making foods and how animals use need water animals used to the human body is made up of 60 to 70 percent of water you know right and in the second lesson we will be able to know about the water cycle the changing state of water water has three states solid liquid and gas so the solid one is called ice and the liquid one is called water and the last one that is gaseous is called water vapor here is the figure of water changing its states and we will, you will also be able to know about the condensation and evaporation and also what is dew and now let's go through our third topic about the water cycle this is the actual picture of water cycle you can see here at first rainfall occurs through this from the mountains the water flow to the river or the seas from there the due to sunlight the te due to temperature the water evaporates and again it, it is condensed that means condensation again occurs then again rainfall occurs so this is how the water cycle is continuing all day long now our next topic is about water pollution here you will be able to know the causes of water pollution and how, what are the bad effects of water pollution and at last you will be able to know how we can prevent water pollution so now our fourth topic safe water how we can make safe water here there are some water purification methods like for like filtration sedimentation boiling purifying water with chemicals so now students let's go through the exercises part of this chapter so elementary science class 5 chapter 3 water for life now students at first we'll go through some tick marks number one what do plants use to absorb nutrients a water b soil c light d air the answer will be a water number two which one is the source of water pollution a smoke b harmful gas c using horn d sewage the correct answer will be d sewage now our third question what is the good way to remove suspended particles like mud, sand, etc. from water? Here are the four, four purification methods of water. Filtration, sedimentation, boiling and the last one is not a purification method. So the correct answer will be B. Sedimentation. Because by sedimentation we can remove the suspended particles like mud, sand, etc. from water. Now students, let's go through some short question answers. Our first question. What is the water cycle? Answer: The way that water moves all around the earth as it changes its state is called water cycle. Second question: Give three examples of how we can help prevent water pollution. Answer: Three examples of how we can help prevent water pollution are: A. Reducing use of pesticides and chemicals in agriculture. B. We should not throw chemicals and oil down the sink drain. C. We should not throw trash into ponds, rivers, lakes, or seas. Third question. Give four ways to get safe water from unsafe fresh water. Answer. Four ways to get safe water from unsafe fresh water are A. Filtration B. Sedimentation C. Boiling And the last one is Water Purification Tablet. Now our fourth question. After rain, there is a puddle on the ground. After a short time, the puddle of water disappears. Where has the water gone? Answer. After rain, the water either is absorbed into the ground or runs off into rivers. Water absorbed into the ground becomes groundwater. Fifth question. What are the three states of water? Three states of water are ice, water and water vapor. 
Now our third topic descriptive question answers. Number one, explain. Number one, explain why the surface of the glass with ice water gets wet. Answer. If ice cubes are put into a glass, the glass becomes cold. We know that air contains water vapor as moisture and when it comes into contact with any cold surface, it condenses and forms tiny water drops due to the cooling effect. Same thing happens in the, in the case of glass with ice water. Being cold, ice makes the glass surface also cold and the water vapor forms water drops after coming into contact with the glass. As a result, the surface of the glass with ice water gets wet. Second question. Explain the process of water cycle. Answer. The way that water removes all around the earth as it changes its state is called the water cycle. State of water is always changing through this cycle. Water in oceans and rivers evaporates and becomes water vapor. As water vapor rises in the air, it cools and condenses into tiny droplets. These tiny droplets accumulate and form clouds. Large water droplets fall back to the earth as rainfall. In Arctic countries, snow also falls from cloud to the earth. Water from the rainfall either is absorbed into the ground or runs off into rivers. Water absorbed into the ground becomes groundwater. Water that runs into the rivers flows to sea where it evaporates back into the air. Here is the figure of the water cycle. Here we can see at first the, the water from the river evaporates. That means evaporation occurs, then to the cloud condensation occurs. From there, rainfall occurs, and from the hill mountains, the water again goes through the mountains to the river, and thus again evaporation occurs. So, this is how the water cycle is continued. Now, our third question Why do animals need water? Answer Water is essential for animals. Animals need water to survive. The necessity of water for animals is explained below. Number 1. Water helps to carry nutrients to all parts of the animal body. Number 2. It helps the body to absorb the nutrients. Number 3. It helps to digest food. Number 4. It maintains the proper temperature of the body. Fourth question. How can we explain that water is the air? Answer. Water is always present in the air in the form of vapor which can be proved by the following experiment. Sorry. For this, we need a glass and some ice cubes. If we observe from outside, keeping the ice cubes inside the glass for a while, we will see that water droplets are formed outside the glass. The surface of the glass has become cold due to the ice cubes. Therefore, the water vapor has condensed into water and stayed in the form of water drops on the glass surface. Hence, it is proved that water is always present in the air. A diagram is given below. So, here you can see the figure of water droplets. At first, we have we, have, we can see that there is water in glass A and in glass B there are some ice cubes and that and due to the ice cubes, the water vapor is coming out and which is for making water droplets. Now, our fifth question. How can we get safe water from pond's water? Answer. We can get safe water from pond in the following way. First, we have to pour some pond water into a pitcher and leave it for a while. After some time, we will see that some particles have settled at the bottom of the pitcher. The water in the upper part of the pitcher has become clean. Now we take this clean water and boil it in a sealed pot for more than 20 minutes. Then we have to filter this water. Suggest we will get safe water. Now, our next question Why are dew and water droplets on the surface of a glass with ice water alike? Answer Water drops on the glass surface and dew drops look alike because when ice cubes are put into the glass, the water vapor of air comes in contact with the cold outer surface of the glass and turns into water droplets. On the other hand, during winter, when temperature decreases, water vapor condenses into water droplets, which are called dew drops. So from above description, it can be understood why water drops on glass surface and dew drops looks alike.
so students that's all for today our next video will be from chapter 4 you all are invited to watch that video so see you soon assalamu alaikum